Plague Barracks is a facility where the most sadistic creatures learn the basics of weapons and warfare, led by the most ruthless generals to become unthinking killers, elite members of security personnel and merciless soldiers in massive armies. I've always loved Slig Barracks, probably because it's perhaps the only level in Oddworld which includes the name of my favourite characters in its title, so you know it's going to have a lot of them. I always loved to crawl in Sligs, and I remember them appearing here. Uh, this might actually be the only place that they've ever appeared in, actually. Slig Barracks is a training facility full of hundreds of tents which house fresh Slig recruits ready to learn the skills they need to be a functioning member of the armed forces and security personnel. There's various training grounds such as firing ranges and places for Sligs to get used to new technology such as their robotic legs and flying packs. There are even places in the area where they have to keep watch over slaves as practice for when they're doing it as part of their job. The large facility is headed by General Drippick, probably the only Glocken that's been seen so far to have a military rank or be involved with that side of things at all. Although his title and many, many medals are almost certainly not earned and given to him perhaps due to his connections, he's probably the most stupid Glocken that's been seen, so maybe that's why he was given that position. I can't imagine a smart Glocken wanting to be eager to run and live in a facility where thousands of inexperienced Sligs are armed with guns, bombs and malfunctioning flying machines for the first time, yet someone needs to do it to show the Gluckens are in control of it, and it looks like he got the job. His office is based in a centre compound of Slig Barracks called The War Room, which aside from being a shrine to himself is a heavily fortified bunker which he keeps himself safely locked in, literally he keeps himself locked in it. Here's a personal story that I find kind of funny about Slick Barracks. I always used to really like the logo, but I only recently, about a year ago or so, discovered what it actually was. You see, I always thought it was a Slick head looking forward, aiming down his sights at you. So one day, as I occasionally do, I just randomly edit pictures and that sort of thing, and I decided, you know, it'd be pretty interesting to see the Slick Barracks logo colourised to actually look like the Slick it's meant to be. So I took the image, and I uh, made the eyes red like a Slick's, and then I made the rest of it green, and and suddenly, instantly as soon as I made it green, for some reason I instantly saw for the first time what the image was actually showing. It wasn't shown a slick head looking towards you, it was shown two slick heads looking outwards on either side. Some of you are probably watching this and thinking, well yeah that's obvious, are you really that much of a meat headed fool? And the answer is yes, but I'm not the only one. From what I've seen, I'd say it's about 50-50 whether people saw the two heads or the one head first. And I'm very curious actually whether this optical illusion was intentional or just a coincidence, because there's definitely a gun sight in the middle of it, and the symmetry of the slig heads around it suggests to me that it was intended as a double image sort of thing. But I don't know, maybe we'll find out one day. Anyway, Slig Barracks is set to appear in Oddworld Soulstorm. I've read so many articles on Soulstorm, and I was thinking to myself, I'm sure I've heard somewhere that Slig Barracks is going to be on Oddworld Soulstorm, and so I tried to find a source for that, and I found a quote from Lorne Lanning, and then I realised, oh yeah, I literally said that quote like two videos ago. So yeah, Lorne Lanning has confirmed that Slig Barracks will be in Soulstorm, but I've heard it will be, and I quote, in a different way. It'll be interesting to see if they keep the logo, I kind of hope they do, but either way I'm very glad that the place will be in Soulstorm, and maybe they'll have hints to its original soundtrack as well, that'd be nice. I've always loved the Slick Barracks theme. The melody kind of sounds like bullet shells drop into the ground. and you've got the military sounding drums in the background there as well. It's a really good piece of music in my opinion at least, it really suits the area that Slig Barracks is meant to be. Think about how much they could expand on what we've already seen of Slig Barracks and the concepts they've already invented for it. In Oddworld Soulstorm I'd personally love to see a really massive and detailed version, alive with inexperienced Sligs being trained by their menacing mentors, with gunfire being heard in the background along with the odd explosion. With what can be done with today's technology, I'm sure that Oddworld World Soulstorm will have a far more advanced Slig Barracks. Hello, follow me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 